All right, hello everyone. My name is Texera. This is Blitzbreak or any percent, and uh, I'll be good to go on the countdown. In three, two, one, go! go. All right. So yeah, this is Blitzbreak or any percent. It's a um, sort of a precision platformer, and you basically only can move left, right, up, down, and you can make a jump, and that's about it. Um, in the start you saw me skip a cutscene, you can do that with escape and with escape only. You can do that a few times, uh, each, each time before the boss and after uh, each boss you can skip the cutscenes. Um, you notice me, I got a star there. Stars um, you get by getting a certain amount of um, time remaining. At the top of the screen you can see a number counting down. If that number reaches zero, I will die. And to get the star on each level, you need to have a certain amount of uh, that time remaining. But this is any percent, so we don't need that. Also, that purple square there that you saw, those are warp pieces, and they will unlock new levels. Um, but yeah, those are only used in the 100% category. Also, this cutscene I can actually skip by uh, menuing out, but I wasn't. <laughs> I didn't really uh, remember how to do that. <clears throat> so yeah. Each, um, each level has like nine, nine sections, and uh, after each, uh, each ninth, you can actually skip the uh, credits roll. So it saves quite a, quite a bit of time. But yeah, outside of that, the story behind this game is basically you're created in a factory and you're trying to escape. So yeah, that's about it. This level is pretty boring. Um, it has a really, it, it has a faster way to do this, but it's really precise. Uh, I would consider it almost as only, where you yeah, you can basically skip a whole cycle of this. And then there is um, a thing, you actually spawn um, hovering in the level, you don't spawn at the bottom of the platform. So, so, certain levels like this one right here, if you press the direction, um, if you press right, just after spawning in, um, you actually have that height. Um, if you wait a bit, you fall on the ground, and sometimes, yeah, you just gotta know which level that is uh, gonna come next. Because, yeah, if you're too late on the input, you might have to do like a, s a small jump and lose a bit of time. Or you might not make the cycle if you're too late, so... Ideally, you know exactly what's gonna come in every level. Alright, so coming up is the last um, section of the level. So I'm gonna press M, and I can actually skip the credit roll like this. And then there is the boss, the first one. It's basically um, someone chasing you, so you just need to be quick enough, but it's really not that hard. So yeah, after this boss we can skip the cutscene again. And yeah, everything is instant dead. Um, the spikes. There's no lives or anything. And then here again we can skip the credits. Uh, just pressing M, and then here a cutscene again, where we can do the exact same. Alright, and that was the first level, or the first boss. There is four bosses, and yeah, this is where you get introduced by the space bar, which is a jump, which is basically only useful on these um, on these automatic uh, automatic sections. And also, if you get stuck against the wall, you can press it to get off. And yeah, you gotta make sure to not press left or right here, because yeah, as soon as you press left or right, you will move until you either bunk against the wall or die. This level was another example. If I didn't press right, right after I spawned in, I would have dropped down and I wouldn't be able to actually uh, make it through the section without getting hit by the spikes. And this is pretty hard to time. Yeah, you break walls by bouncing into them, so to get past the wall with quickest you just um, spam, spam the direction. And here you can actually do something really risky, is, um, it's a thing called vaulting. Um, basically you charge up against um, a platform, and if you're high enough, you will actually appear on the platform. Like, uh, it's hard to explain. I will explain it later, or uh, better, where I will actually do, do it. 
Alright, another skip there. And yeah, this is water. It's really slow. And the only way to get up, there's no spikes at the top, is bouncing against the wall repeatedly. Though you don't want to do it too quickly because then uh, it loses time. So there is like a sort of a rhythm to it. And then here you actually want to bounce bottom because it, it pushes you up faster than uh, going against the wall. definitely give this game a shot though, it's like a couple euros on Steam and I've put many hours in it already so it's definitely worth, worth the money. And here it's actually faster to bounce a bit against the wall than to bounce up because yeah, falling down in the water is really slow as you can see. There's also hidden heads on every boss fight, um, which you only need in the 100% category though. And the hardest level in the game is yeah, after you get all the void pieces and you unlock the extra levels and you beat them all, you unlock an extra level which is called... Um, which is called... Uh, something with an X, I <laughs> forgot the name. But yeah, it's, it's pretty damn hard and each time you die you have to do the whole thing again from the start and it's a really long level so that's really unfortunate for you. That is why 100% is annoying. Oh! Oh! Okay, and sound is gone. It's okay. <laughs> I was able to pause. Alright, so this is a really long section. Um, again, this is the last uh, level of the level, or the last section of the level. So after this, I can press M again to menu out to skip the credits. I'm gonna guess there's a couple of audio devices on, on my desktop, and that's why it switched audio devices on the Alright, so pressing M again. And then we're actually doing the second boss. Second boss of the game. First time I did this, I was like, what the hell are you actually supposed to do? But yeah, each time he gets hit by those spikes, you can uh, hit him if you dash into him. We have to do that uh, four times. Alright, one more time. You can actually do it like that. The jump is actually sort of risky and unintended, but you need to grab the key. Otherwise you cannot do the, the next hit, but yeah, that's the second boss down. He's called Boktopus, by the way. Pretty funny name. Alright, and once again, we can M out and escape all the cutscenes there are. There we go. On to the third section. Actually picking up a void piece here. Alright, this is a quick cycle. If we're fast enough, we can make it. Oh, nice. And here we just have to wait. There is no quicker way to do that. And this is a yeah. If you die here, you lose so much time. Like, there's no checkpoints or anything. Also, another thing you can actually um, dash downwards, and you will get like a little bounce after that, unless you uh, bounce against the wall to the left or your right right away, or if you. Um, bounce or like if you drop down from not too far you don't get that bounce so yeah sometimes like this is a good example we don't want to bounce down because we don't get that bounce up because we don't drop from far from high enough so yeah in most of the cases it is quicker to do a charge um, like a dash down but in some situations like you just saw it's better to just do a normal fall down And then here there is uh, a quicker way to do this level as well. Nothing major though, it's just by getting this key. 
And then we can actually move up here because there is a used to be a wall. There we go. The hardest things to time is when there is a really big drop down and you gain more speed the the longer you fall, so it can be quite tricky to time it. This is another M. Like we can place them again to skip the credits. There we go. And then here there's a nice little quick cycle you can do by falling down there. You can barely make it. Oh, shouldn't have done that. That's what happens if you press the wrong direction. Especially if it happens in the water, you're moving even slower. And if you know there are spikes coming up, very unfortunate. bit safe there, don't want to die there. Also coming up, uh, the next boss is actually complete RNG, so you might just lose minutes on this, that is why I have a very um, very high estimate, just because of that boss pretty much. It's also the only RNG in the game. This is the final level before it. So right after this, we will head off to the boss. Alright, so he can spawn in six different locations and it's completely random which he takes. He also, after the second hit, he will actually um, spit a fireball out and after he does that the first time, he will spit one out um, in the other room. But um, after both fireballs are up, which is uh, right now, it's actually not worth it anymore to go up when you're in the down um, section because you're, you just won't be quick enough. So you just got to hope he appears in your um, section. Um, so yeah, now it's just hoping he appears at the bottom three locations. And sometimes just time runs out. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Come on, down one more time. Come on, one more time. Down, 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 down. Okay, nice. Alright, that wasn't too bad. And once again, we can press M there to skip all the credits and the cutscenes. Alright. Oh, there is a quick cycle here. There we go. Here, we just gotta make sure. No. Not die. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a boss boss music. That that's the intro music. That could be it. That's usually for water level, so. Oh, that was a fall right there, as you can see. I bounced against the wall, and it actually put me on top of the wall. That was uh, an example of a fall. We'll actually be doing it once in the run by just spamming uh, left or right. Makes this section much easier later. <coughs> Alright, this has a quick cycle as well. If we do everything correct, we won't get it by that. And we will actually make it down. Okay, nice. Now we have to wait a little bit, otherwise we would have gotten hit by that. Uh, there is a quick cycle here as well. Let's see if we can make that. Oh, no. Yes. 
Oh no, dang it. Yeah, okay, let's try it one more time. Got that drop down here. Stay. Okay, should be good. Yeah. Woo! Okay. Okay. That was another vault, by the way. <laughs> it's okay. Alright. Got this. Oh, uh, no. There's a quick cycle here. If you don't um, jump on the ground and you press left um, uh, immediately, you can grab the key right away. It's pretty risky to do that, so let's not do that. Doesn't save so much time anyway. It's much, much, much safer. Here, an unintended skip at the end, which doesn't really save much, but I think it's unintended, where we can just go to left here. And now, once again, skipping the credits by pressing M. Right, so this blue thing is a checkpoint. They were actually not in the game in the start uh, when it first released, but the developer brought it in because many people were having troubles actually getting past these levels. So that's why there is uh, checkpoints now, which makes any percent a bit easier. Um, because if you die, you just appear at the checkpoint, but if you're doing an all-stars run or 100%, you actually need to redo the whole level to actually get the star, because if you use the checkpoints, you do not get the star. So yeah, that's the thing. So yeah, thankfully we're doing any percent. Don't need to worry about that. Oof, okay. Might not make this cycle now. Ooh, okay, that was really close. <laughs> Oh, why did I dash down? No idea. Yeah, that's what happens if you just uh, do one input mistake. Just horribly die. Oh, again. Alright, let's not die there anymore, please. Something like that. Okay. Alright, there's a quick cycle here. Where you can just do this. It's very close. Got it. Let's wait here just to make sure we don't die anymore. Alright, now for a long water level. Also, there is actually no risk of running out of time except for this level and another one coming up. The other levels, <laughs> you don't really have to care for getting uh, extra coins, but on this one you do. Because if you just do the any percent route or like the quickest route you can, you will um, run out of time, so we gotta go up there to get those extra coins, and then we make it easy. Once again, boosting downwards to get an extra bit of height, compared to doing the wall boosts. So here I would have died if I didn't get any additional coins, like the timer was even in red now. Safety bounce here to drop the speed a bit, which I'll do quite often in the next levels. Oh, dang it. But there is these checkpoints, so that's that. I wanted to go for the quick cycle there. Let's not do that anymore. Okay. Alright, this one. During casual play, this is probably the one where you died the most. So let's get it first try, shall we? Oh. But there's a convenient checkpoint here now. But yeah, this is the probably the hardest part about this. But yeah. 
There we go. All intended. Yeah. There we go. Nice. That's how you do this. Ah, this one. This level is a pain on 100% because there is these secret green keys you need to get in 100% and this level has a really annoying one where you have to go through the whole thing and then have to do like really specific and precise uh, platforms but yeah I need to do that now could have made that early cycle if I didn't uh, if I wasn't slow in the previous part but so yeah, here's the part where I'll just spam left to get past this section with a vault like that. Makes it much easier. Alright, good. Good level. Yeah, this level is pretty boring. Getting towards the end of the game as well. Oof, okay. Another checkpoint. And yeah, as you can see, this level is pretty long without the checkpoint, so understandable why the developer uh, got those checkpoints in. Gotta wait a bit here so you don't get brutally murder murdered. Alright, this has a quick cycle as well, which is quite the time saver. If we do everything correct here, we will make it. Looks good. We can make this, and then... Oh! No. I'm gonna, gonna miss that one. Yeah, there was a little bit of a quicker cycle I could have gotten there because then I don't need to wait here but now I have to wait but yeah no big deal all right there's actually four ways to go here but we only need to do three to um, to get to the boss and these are the fastest ways because the other way has a lot of water in it and water is slow all right so here we will actually do the bounces down to avoid these there we go. Alright, now I just need to get up. Take it safe. Alright, not bad. Oof, okay. <laughs> Alright, we did it. Boss time. Again, we can menu out. Get to the boss. Oh, no, already started wrong. This, These cycles are all on global cycles, so if we, if we mess up once, all cycles will be different, so we really want to get the start we want. Just this and there. All right. This is the hardest part in the next room. There we go. Ah no. Should have went faster there. Damage chip. That's his name, by the way. Alright, let's do it now. Nope. Okay. Let's take it safe. This third phase is really easy, so if I die here, it's uh, shouldn't should never die here. Go. All right, just because we took so long, I'm gonna need to get those extra coins there to the left, pop them. But yeah, time coming up in like. 40 seconds or something. I'm sure how long this takes. Alright, should be good. There we go. 
Time is when I enter the portal on the next screen, so it's quite a bit longer. These are the um, secret heads, by the way. We have enough time to even grab it without losing time. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so time now. Alright, not bad. Let's see um, him escape now. <laughs> 